In an impressive timeline of under 30 days since the production of its initial batch of sleek coupe SUVs in China, Xpeng Motors has proudly unveiled its newest addition, the remarkable G6. With a price tag below $30,000, Xpeng envisions the G6 as a formidable rival to the widely acclaimed Tesla Model Y and a multitude of other electric vehicles, EVs, dominating the Chinese market. This launch holds paramount significance for the automaker as it aims to revitalize its sales figures, which have experienced a recent decline within its home nation. The arrival of Xpeng's G6 marks a significant milestone for the company, showcasing their relentless commitment to innovation and the advancement of the EV industry. Capitalizing on the growing demand for sustainable and cost-effective transportation solutions, the G6 is poised to captivate the attention of discerning consumers in China and beyond. Thank you very much, Mr. Liu Cixin, for joining us in the design of G6, the next generation smart and EV. Now, I am really impressed with and inspired by two sentences in the video. The first one is that the curve belongs to God and straight lines belong to humanity. And the second sentence was that hopefully each single one of us are not confined to living between the straight lines. Now, we have been thinking about what the next generation of smart vehicles should look like. First of all, it needs to have a very smart curve. Meanwhile, it also needs to balance the battery life space and also wind resistance system. We finally settle on the shape and curves of water. And that is why G6 design is actually based on the silhouette of water droplets. With that said, regarding the front design of G6, actually G6 launched something that we call robo face or robot face. You can see that the front design is very similar to the face of a robot. I remember in 2020, we actually incorporated lightsaber for the first time on P7 in China, and it was mass produced. A lot of our users actually were complaining about this design. However, right now you can see that lightsabers are everywhere. That is why we always wanted to do something different and we always are trying to innovate and lead in our design language. Our newer generation of lightsaber is very futuristic. So I would like to highlight that on G6, the lightsaber robot face really shines in the dark, very unique and highly recognizable. At the same time, G6 has a ultra-low drag of 0.246 CD, and we have actually incorporated that ultra-low drag design in 17 different places in the car. We have incorporated 17 anti-drag design features. We have also added the adaptive electric rear spoiler, which make it not only look cool, but also allow G6 to have a longer cruising range. Now, when you get into the inside of G6, the first impression is definitely very spacious. It might not appear as a big car, but when you sit in it, especially the rear seat, it really feels large and spacious. Secondly, it feels great. It's very comfortable. All of the material is very comfortable to sit in. Number three, it's very high tech. We have incorporated a lot of technological changes, which consists of 250 watt wireless fast charging. Also, we have added some ventilation, which means that mobile phone fast charging is not going to increase the inside temperature when it's on. We also make the door opening button with electric release. Children will feel a completely different kind of action of opening and closing the door. In terms of the coloring scheme for G6, we also offer three options, including gray, black, and blue-white contrast. In addition to the appearance, we also focus on the space. Let's take a look at how the next generation of smart and EV can create a comfortable space. First of all, I would like to share with you the length, width, and height of G6. 
47.53 in length, 19.20 in width, and 16.50 in height. And the wheelbase has reached 28.90 millimeters. G6 has very short front and rear overhang, which make it very stable in handling and flexible in shape. The overall space is very large, even exceeding some medium and large SUVs. And that is perfect for urban travel. We also can see that there are many sports SUVs or sedans that emphasize styling. And as a matter of fact, they rarely talk about headroom. Now let's take a look at the headroom of G6. How do we increase the headroom? First of all, we adopt CIB battery integration technology. So what is CIB technology? There is a chassis and a battery pack in every electric vehicle, and when we combine them together, it would be safer, cheaper, and also give us more space. We also have created something that's called suspended roof, so combining CIB with suspended roof, we are able to create extra headroom, which is a few fingers more than other models, and the overall headspace can reach two to three fists height. So therefore, uh, the headroom of the entire G6 is very, very spacious. Now let's take a look at the uh, knee room of G6. We can see that the knee space or knee room is nearly double that of the benchmark models, reaching 136 uh, mm. Some of you may ask, are you sacrificing the comfort of the ride to get such a large knee room? Well, actually not. We launched something that's called cloud light hugging seat. It's nothing like a narrow chair. The contact length the contact length of the entire seat cushion is about 50% longer than other benchmark models. The thickness of the cushion foam is actually close to 50% more. The adjustable degree of the entire rear seat reached a maximum degree of 38.4. So G6 definitely offers an unmatched experience of rear seat comfort. Just to summarize, what has been included in the entire G6 comfort ride and large space is, first of all, our suspended roof, the spacious back seat. We also have our Napa leather seat. We offer a standard 571 liter trunk space uh, and also 1,374 liters of space when the rear seats are folded down. Now we have comfortable seating, plenty of room. What shall we do next? It's the handling. A next-gen smart NUV must have very good handling. It needs to be quick and stable because speed is important and critical for stability. The G6 four-wheel drive can accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers within 3.9 seconds and the two-wheel drive is not inferior at all with an acceleration of 5.9 seconds. In order to achieve this, we have our full-stack self-developed 800-volt X-Power electric drive and the intelligent four-wheel drive torque distribution system. On the basis of FAST, we also have put in a lot of efforts to pursuing stability. Now, the first aspect of stability is our brand new suspension system. The front double wishbone suspension is made of pure aluminum alloy, which effectively reduces the weight. We also added lateral sway bars to further improve the lateral stability. Now, together with top-level tuning by a Sino-German team, we have done our calibration. When you are making turns, the handling is very smooth, and the roll when cornering is very, very small. Now, the second stability is about G6 uh, manufacturing uh, using the uh, aluminum die casting integration technology. We understand that there are several manufacturers in China that actually have done integrated die casting, but only Xpeng has done it in both the front and rear of the car body. And as a result, it brings a torsional rigidity of 41,600 Nm per degree, which is about 83% higher than that of a traditional body uh, and exceeding that of a million-dollar luxury car.
All of these have enabled the superior handling of G6. All of these have contributed to the stability of G6. Now let's take a look at the elk test, which is very important and critical for testing the stability of a vehicle, um, especially in emergency avoidance and emergency uh, line cutting. Now, if you look at G6 performance, uh, it's actually 82 kilometers per hour, um, actually outperforming all of the mainstream luxury vehicles. Now, personally speaking, I am dedicated to empowering uh, all of the new x models to become the king of smart driving. And I'm very confident that we have already achieved the number one place in intelligence in China, uh, but we still have room for improvement in terms of driving. Now, we have done a lot for G6 to improve the stability and handling. Um, and also through our future OTA, we hope that we can even turn it up a notch. In addition to driving, I would also like to share with you the safety profile of G6. Now, first of all, G6 has very high strength steel aluminum hybrid body. We have 51% aluminum in the body, 16 safety rings. All of the interlocked rings contribute to better safety uh, of the G6. We also have 26% high strength steel, uh, root compression strength, which is 4.83 times the weight of the uh, entire car body. We also have 80 ton pillar compression resistance with a three layer collision resistance structure, a collision resistant compartment. We have achieved 80 ton pillar compression resistance. We also have all round battery safety protection, fulfilling 15 battery cell safety standards and over 30 rigorous safety tests. What I want to emphasize here is that uh, G6 is actually our first car that not only fulfilled the China safety standards, but also the, the international safety standards, regardless of left-hand drive or right-hand drive. The design goal actually meets the five-star safety uh, standard in China and in Europe. And also the five-star safety in Europe increases the safety on side collision as well. In addition, uh, Xpeng also added new requirements for front angle collision, front center collision, and rear dimensional collision. We are really striving to put safety first. And here I would like to report a good news to you. Today actually marks a new milestone for Xpeng Motors in terms of our international sales and delivery. We enter the European market in 2021 and in 2023, our P7i and G9 is going to be fully delivered in the next quarter in Europe again. Next year, we expect to have G6 available in Europe as well. Back to safety. In order to achieve the highest level of safety for G6, we utilize the integrated die casting, CIB battery, and 13 hardware software human machine code driving active safety function. We also will incorporate XNGP active safe driving to man machine co-piloting. And that is how we make the next generation of smart vehicles safer. In addition to safety, we also need to have a very solid driving range. They not only need to be extended, but also useful and solid. Fast charging is also very critical. And when we look at G6, in order to achieve long and reliable driving range, we have adopted a different approach. Now, previously for typical new energy vehicles, if we want to extend the driving range, typically we need to stack batteries. Many car makers, including ourselves, and when you look at our previous generation of products, we utilize very large batteries to achieve long driving range. However, there are some issues. The price is very expensive and the car battery is very heavy. As a result, the whole car weight is not low, making it difficult to achieve a solid driving range. In order to solve those issues, we actually Instead of adding batteries, we reduce power consumption. First of all, we reduce the drag substantially while using the integrated aluminum die casting and CIB, reducing the weight significantly by about 100 kilogram. 
also we have made available the configuration, the 800 volt high voltage uh, silicon carbine technology as a standard configuration, achieving electric drive efficiency of 98%, increasing 15% of driving range. Meanwhile, G6 has uh, the standard configuration of XHP 3.0 thermal management system with heat pump AC for all variations. So winter climate will not compromise the driving range anymore. We actually are able to increase the winter driving range by about 15% and we can actually do the full range using only 87.5 kilowatt hours of power. Now, when we did our first CLTC test, uh, we are able to last uh, 850 kilometers of driving range using only 87.5 kilowatt hours of electricity. So definitely our products have a very solid driving range and we have to allow everyone to enjoy driving on the highway in the winter and have one-to-one -one driving range compared to other climates. We definitely cannot allow 500 kilometers of driving range to drop to 300 in the city and 200 on the highway and further to 100 uh, kilometers in winter highway. We do not produce cars like that. We only produce products with very solid driving range. Now for G6, we also have a driving range of 580 kilometers. Uh, in actual cases, we believe that we can actually max it to 600 kilometers. We are very confident of that. Now here you can read the table for reference. Norway has the highest uh, new energy vehicle penetration rate in the world, uh, as high as 90%, if I remember correctly. So you can find, for example, European EVs, American EVs, and Chinese EVs in Norway. They are all available there. As a result, they can actually test all kinds of vehicles. They have the highest numbers available in terms of uh, the vehicle models. We are demonstrating the uh, final test results uh, from our latest test in Norway. And you can see that for G9 and P7i, we actually won the top two places uh, from these uh, tests. We believe that our driving range is very solid, very reliable. And if you drive in the highway, uh, you do not have to worry about a charging. In addition to long range, we also need to develop fast charging. If you look at the overseas market, it's different from the Chinese market because fast charging is a must for the overseas consumers uh, based on their high frequency of travel which means that they have to reach very high charging efficiency on the highway or when they reach the destination of travel. So fast charging definitely is critical for the next generation of smart EV. G6 is equipped with 3C batteries as standard. And on our supercharging facilities, G6 can actually achieve 300 kilometers of range charge within 10 minutes of time, of which you can actually get one kilometer or two seconds. And in Norwegian, in Norway's NAF charging test, our G9 won the first place again, which is very, very impressive. Obviously, G6 is super fast in our supercharging facility. However, even on standard charging piles, G6 is more than twice as fast compared with those uh, models without 800 volt hardware. And if you go to other places, you realize that, for example, other cars will have to charge for an hour or 15 minutes on the highway, but you can actually be ready after 20 minutes of charging. If you want to conduct intercity travels, G6 is definitely your go-to. And how can we achieve such a successful fast charging efficiency uh, it is because our whole car is designed with low drag, lightweight, CIV, and also is equipped with the silicon carbine 800 volt and also 3C batteries as standard. The overall power consumption per 100 kilometers is 13.2 kilowatts, and we also have our in-house developed electric drive with an efficiency of 98%, ensuring that G6 has very reliable driving range and fast charging capability. 
Now let's talk about intelligence. I would like to actually share with you why Xpeng is different from other car companies. From the beginning of its founding, Xiaopeng and Henry have already recognized that software and hardware will change cars and data and operations will change mobility. We have always been very firm on this, so today I would like to also share with you our full scenario intelligence. Now a lot of uh, our peers talk about full scenario intelligence nowadays, but obviously there are several pain points that have not yet been solved. The first one is that there is hardware, but there is no compatible software. Actually, last year and the year before last, we have heard about a lot of smart EVs are competing against each other on the hardware. They are talking about the perception capabilities and computing power. However, software was mentioned very rarely. And if we prematurely design the hardware without matching software, capabilities will not arrive. The second pain point is functionality without good experience. Now, a lot of companies claim that they have all kinds of functions. However, when the users drive the vehicle, the experience was horrible because all of the functionality is on paper that doesn't translate into very good user experience, which means that it's not going to generate good user data or positive feedback. The third pain point is that there are highways coverage but no cities. In fact, from our point of view, the difficulty of urban assisted driving is really 100 times more than highway driving. Well, I didn't say this, but uh, Mr. Wu Xinzhou did. We spend no more than 15% of our time on highways and expressways every day, and only during holidays we might have about half of the driving on highways or expressways. So if your autonomous driving or smart assisted driving does not support urban roles, it's not going to be that useful. Nowadays, Xpeng is the most advanced in terms of developing urban assisted driving in top tier cities such as Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen. Let's dive into this. XNGP will be available upon delivery for G6 this time. In 2019, we were the industry's first company that were able to deliver Vision Fusion-based autonomous uh, automatic parking. And right now, in 2020, 2022, and 2023, we were able to cover uh, Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen with our XNGP function. And actually, I'm very confident that compared with our domestic peers, we are leading ahead uh, by about 12 to 36 months in terms of our XNGP capability abilities after implementation and later on we will need to fully cover the uh, all domain and all coverage and provide very good user experience which is going to be very challenging however we are definitely leading I would also like to share with you some interesting data. This year in Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen the actual mileage penetration rate of NGP in the city areas was a big surprise to us all. It was as high as 62%. The number of emergency takeover per 100 kilometers was only 0.65. However, there are still more than 10 active takeovers per 100 kilometers, so there is still room for improvement. We aim to reduce uh, this number significantly in the coming 4 to 8 quarters. Nowadays, our city driving efficiency is about 90% of a human driver. Um, first of all, we prioritize a good experience uh, and then safety, uh, followed by efficiency. Sometimes I really find it unacceptable that the machine is driving slower than I do. And uh, in order to achieve a high efficiency, we need to do more. Back in 2021, when we first launched our highway assisted driving, people were very doubtful. Um, but after two years' time, I would like to share with you that our highway NGP now is driving actually faster than a very skilled driver. 0 0.4 safe takeovers per 1,000 kilometers. Only three uncomfortable decelerations per 1,000 kilometers. So overall, it's been pretty smooth. According to our data feedback, the driving efficiency has actually improved by 5% compared with human driver. 
And so if I have to drive long trip, I often ask my driver to sit in the back and then I'll sit in the driver's seat. Uh, he often asks me, are you actually driving, Xiaopeng? And I said, no, not me. It's only been two years since we first implemented the highway NGP from initially raising eyebrows to right now being followed by our peers. We witnessed a lot of changes right now, uh, our users and including ourselves, we dare to use it. We like to use it and we really enjoyed the function and it's been only two years. So we are definitely not far from having all domain assisted driving and XPeng is definitely leading the game. In our system, we have something that's called SR. By definition, it means surrounding reality display in autonomous driving. It can really help us to understand how machine sees the world from the dashboard to the big screen while we're driving. Now, the perception types are very, very comprehensive. We can identify children, police cops, and also uh, crosswalks and other interesting objects. In the future, we're going to include manhole covers, speed bumps, and other irregulate objects. With that, we hope that we can get closer to realizing end-to-end all-domain smart assisted driving. Obviously, it can't be generated by the maps you use, it has to be rendered in real time. So this super perception simulation is going to be part of the standard configuration for intelligent assisted driving. Now, I would also like to share with you our latest XNGP weekly user penetration rate. It has reached 96.46%. Which means that among our max users, on a weekly basis, 96.46% of them use this function. When I was a product manager, I thought a daily penetration of 15%, a weekly penetration of 50% was the best you could achieve. But actually, right now, for us, there is still room for improvement. However, this kind of penetration rate definitely outperformed our expectation. And personally speaking, since the beginning of the year, I begin to form the habit of using the navigation and then the XNGP every time I travel. Prior to this year, I didn't do it uh, except for when I was parking or on the highway. Uh, especially in the city areas, I did not rely on XNGP. And also going back to 2014, I remember when I first got uh, the first electric vehicle, after three months of driving, I fell in love. So I sincerely invite every single one of you to really try XPeng's uh, XNGP. I believe that there's going to be no going back after 200 kilometers of driving. Now, let me share with you the rollout of XNGP. Now, for the first half of the year, we're going to make it available only in Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen. And for the second half, we should be able to cover 50 cities, including the Yangtze River Delta and Pearl River Delta, and other important cities. And next year, we expect to cover around 200 cities. In order to achieve that, we started to implement the functionality without the support of high-definition maps. So later on, we are going to gradually do without independent ACC, LCC, automatic parking, highway NGP, city NGP, because all of those will be incorporated in XNGP. It is one mode, one experience with super high level of safety. We are also going to make it available among our G9, P7i, G6, and our upcoming new models and facelift versions, all of the max versions. We expect to launch our AI valet driver in the second half of the year based on the no high definition maps mode. Technically, it is an AI driver that drives you from point A to point B. However, the driving habit might be different from yours. For example, you may turn to the second lane in advance from the fourth lane because you knew ahead of time that you need to take a left turn.
But the AI driver can actually learn from your driving habit from home to the company, and they can actually pick up your routes and navigation. And they also allow you to have multiple customized routes as well. You can automatically train them, store, and also you can share your offline strategies with your friends. It will offer a better experience and a faster way to commute. We expect that in the next year, the AI driver can actually help you to reach from your home parking lot to the company parking lot. This is what we will do in the AI driver mode. Now here you can see we have your AI co-pilot on Xpen cars. I hope that one day we can all use XNGP happily, safely, and efficiently on a daily basis, no matter where we are. This is our goal. I just talked about intelligent assisted driving. Now let me share with you our full scenario voice assistant 2.0, which was mass produced and delivered intelligently back in 2020. And by now, it has already become a standard configuration of many smart vehicles. We have always been followed, but never surpassed. If you look at our intelligent all scenario or full scenario voice assistant, right now there's no need to even activate it. You can give an order of increasing the temperature to 25 degrees, for example, without the activation of saying hello, shall pee. It also can function normally without the internet connection. It has enabled over 600 high frequency commands. In future, our full scenario voice assistant model can also cover multiple sound zone as well without the support of internet. I can also share with you that's for our intelligent assisted driving uh, and our full scenario voice assistant. Both of them will be supported by a stronger LLM big model. And I expect to actually give you more information on our 1024 tech day this year. G6 launched the Intelligent Multi-Scenario Cockpit, which is a function that fully reflects the personality and also can create the sense of ritual. It can really mobilize 350 functions in a car. For example, you can create a whole set of ritual or process for your girlfriend's birthday or your wedding anniversary. I believe that these scenarios can allow you to express your personality when using the car. We expect x Motors to become smarter and smarter in the future. I have introduced the full scenario intelligence of G6, including XNGP, Highway NGP, AI Valet Driver, Full Scenario Voice Assistant 2.0, and Memory Parking. We have actually more functions related to driving safety, such as the Intelligent Obstacle Avoidance. Please look forward to our OTA for more safety function updates. It has always been our intention to explore future mobility. With technology, we hope to bring more ideas to everyone and also the rest of the world. Because we only have one hour today, I haven't got the time to introduce all of the cool functions and configurations in G6. Just to summarize, uh, G6 is equipped with over 100 standard configuration functions this time, including heat pump, AC, electric tailgate, adjustable rear seat, steering wheel heating, standard 3C batteries, standard highway NGP, and a lot more. I'm very confident that with the most powerful intelligence, solid driving range, excellent handling, superior space, excellent design, and highest level of safety, G6 will definitely be the strongest player among the smart electric SUV in the 250,000 RMB class. Finally, just a reminder, by tomorrow, we will have all the display car and test drive cars uh, in store. And by July, we will start the official delivery of G6. I believe that G6 will definitely be the strongest player among smart electric SUV in the 250,000 RMB class. I expect to drive this beautiful and smart G6 in China together with all of you.
I'm very excited. Again, very grateful for all the friends who have joined us both online and offline. Thank you so much. And also 200 uh, XPEC users who came from afar. Thank you so much. And I really look forward to reaching new heights in the coming couple of years together with all of you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.